English. I don't know it apparently. Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with my February TBR for 2018. I have a total of five books. Definitely probably being ambitious because it's midterm season, so your girl ain't gonna do much reading. But you know, like we can hope that I'll get some reading done. I'm already four books behind on my Goodreads goal, so it's going well. But without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> so the first book that I have is one that I'm pretty much done already, and it's one that you guys have been pestering me to read for like the entire existence that I've been on book two, but it is Harry Potter number four, which is The Goblet of Fire. I'm on page 465, so we're almost done, okay? There will be a J Reads Harry Potter vlog for this coming up once I finally finish, but stay tuned for that. So far, I'm loving it, obviously, because I am Harry Potter trash and Sirius is in this book, so you know your girl loves herself some Sirius. The next book that I'm hoping to pick up is Nice Try Jane Sinner by Leanne Olk, and I've heard so many incredible things about this book. I've had this arc since it like got released, so I really need to get to it because everybody seems to love it. So I want to be on the bandwagon too. This book follows Jane Sinner who recently got expelled from high school. She ends up going to community college and participating in a student-run reality TV show called House of Orange in the hopes of winning a car. And it's basically like her trying to start her life over after this huge event that happened at her high school. I've read a little bit of it and so far it is so funny. Like I am loving it. So I definitely recommend it based off of what I've read so far. And from what I've heard it just gets better so you know your girl is excited for this one. The next one that I have I am so excited for because it was one of my most anticipated January releases and then it showed up at my doorstep and I like freaked out like completely squealing. I was so excited. But it is Blood Sisters by Jane Corey and it basically follows these three girls in kindergarten who go off walking to class and then by the time the morning bell rings one of them is dead. 15 years later, Kitty is in a mental institution and she can't remember what landed her there. And then Allison is an art teacher who is looking to make a little bit more money on the side. She decides to take a job position at the local prison and that is when both girls realize that somebody is watching them and they might actually be out for revenge. I honestly just thought it sounded so cool when I read the synopsis for my most anticipated video and I've wanted to read it and then here it is. It's pretty much fate so I need to read it now. The next book I've talked about a couple of times on my channel so far because I am so excited about it and thank you so much to Simon & Schuster for sending me a copy of it but it is Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw and this book has been blurbed as Practical Magic meets Hocus Pocus which are two of my favorite movies so you know your girl is hella excited for this book. I've actually already read like almost half of it because I just couldn't wait. So I'm actually like in the middle of three books right now but this showed up at my doorstep and I was like I need to read it now. So I started. It follows three sisters who were murdered after being accused of witchery two centuries ago and the town of Sparrow ever since then has been plagued by these three sisters who return every year during the summer solstice in order to get their revenge by basically taking over the bodies of three girls and then dragging boys into the deep water and drowning them. And I'm sorry, but like, I'm here for this. Like, it's so good so far. I'm like obsessed with it and I just can't get enough of it. So honestly, probably by the time this video is uploaded, I'm going to be done it. And I'm going to say there's probably going to be a review of it up on my channel unless I end up hating it but like I doubt it so stay tuned for that one. The next book that I have is one that I've had on my shelf for a really long time but I read the first book in the series and enjoyed it so I was like might as well finish the series so that I can say that I finished the series but it is Swan Riders by Aaron Bow. The first book is The Scorpion Rules which I think I gave a 3.5 but I'm not going to give a synopsis of this since it is the second book of the series but again 
I'm about halfway through because I have no self-control apparently right now and can't decide what I want to read so I'm reading all the books at once but so far it's okay it's nothing like incredible but we'll see what I actually think of it once it's done. Alright guys, so that was my February TBR. Let me know down below if you've read any of these, what you thought of them, or what you're planning to read for this lovely month of February. And I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!